That's a that's a good one. Inside grass line. Yep. The double chartreuse tipped wacky worm. Always works. God, look at this milfoil. Let's see you, Mark. We're fishing with the one and only Mark Fisher today. You may know him as the announcer to Bassaker. <laughs> that's my that's my <laughs> primary gig. He uh, I get paid the most from that gig. Fellow Major League Fishing Invitational Pro. We are <clears throat> at his little lake house. Lake, I won't give the name away because it's we don't want to overcrowd it with anglers. Uh, Mark has a house uh, about 50 minutes from my uh, house in central Wisconsin. And I had to come pick up some stuff from him for a core tackle. And we said, let's go out on the boat for a little bit. So that's where we are right now. We've got, uh, where we go? Potomac River here in, uh, what, two weeks? Uh, yeah, uh, is it, yeah, well, this week and next week, and then we go, yeah. So. I'm kind of excited for that, kind of not super excited. I, you got a lot riding on it. You? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm starting to... I would guess that you've been thinking about it before bed every day, kind of like, okay. Uh, play out not, e not every that? day, but I've definitely thought about it, I can tell you that. But you've got a you've got a really good history there. I, I know. Look at it. He's putting on a clinic for me. Uh, this is the way it should That's be. That's a nice one. He's about every other cat. Ah, he's there. not that big. But you're they're not all big. Like you are front front boating me. I'm what? You are you have the front. You're you're getting me with the front here. You're getting first shot at it. Go right ahead. <laughs> so I came. To uh, meet Mark today to pick up some stuff for core tackle, like I had mentioned earlier, uh, he runs the school that manages our production as well as our shipping, which has worked out really well for us. Except he's over here just catching bass left and right. That's a decent one. Oh yeah. So yeah, we uh, it works That's out. What we've been doing all day, right? Well, we've caught. We're working on our limit in in a little over an hour. I'm not complaining. So we uh, yeah, we we worked it out. So I've known Mark for years, as we've kind of talked about at other times. But the school, what's that? Two and a half? Yeah. Two and a quarter. Two and a half. The school uh, has done a bunch of work study programs in the past. So Mark, why don't you kind of fill us in on how this works, why it's a good thing for the school, and let people know it's not child labor. No, yeah, I know everybody kind of, that's the first place everybody goes, but, well, what, you know, and I think the interesting thing is, is that, that when you brought up the whole idea when you were starting was, you know, I was like, okay, so who's packaging and who's doing all that kind of stuff, and you, didn't know at that point and I told you that that was exactly right up our alley so we have a, a school for special ed kids that uh, and part you know the the school has four components the educational component a therapy component an outdoor ed program and a vocational component and so I think we're one of the only schools in the country that when our kids come to school they start out the, the first day when they're in school, they do chores at school. Um, when I worked in public schools, kids would throw candy wrappers on the floor and you'd, as a teacher, you'd say, hey, why'd you throw that candy wrapper on the floor? Put it in the garbage can. And they'd look at you and they'd go, well, what's the big idea? The janitor will clean it up at the end of the day. And I used to hate that response, you know. And mothers hate that response, you know. So we have them do chores and they, 
they learn that they don't make a mess for someone else to clean up. Now they get paid to do chores. It's just like being in a family, you know, they get an allowance for doing their chores. But they get $2 a day for doing like 20 minutes worth of chores. If they move up in the levels, now they can go in the work program and they can do jobs that we have. It, they, I got some students who do oil changes on our vehicles, others that work in a school store. And then we get, we get jobs from a local area businesses, stuffing envelopes, putting small parts assemblies together. And then what you talked about was, hey, packaging the hover rig and the tush rigs and things. So we, we brought that to them when you got that information and we, or got the materials and we had them do a time study. They figured out how many they could get done in an hour. We quoted you the price. What this has turned out to be is core tackle is now a part of our vocabulary at school. When, when the kids at 11 o'clock in the morning, when they go into work program, Okay, you got cleaning bathrooms and you got doing an oil change and you two over there, you got core tackle. And they go in and we've got it set up and they work on stuffing those hooks into the bags and putting the cards in. And, and I'm telling you, not only the money that they're making, because they get anybody in the work program, no matter what job, they're getting $7 an hour for doing that as part of the vocational program. Plus they're earning a credit. So this is the, I got English, math, core, t you know, work program. And in work program, I do core tackle. So it's a very valuable component in terms of when you look at, I've got students who come to school just because they know they're gonna make money when they're at school. So it increases attendance. It increases self-esteem because I've got kids who, oh, I'm the best, I can do more. I can, I can, at the end of a work shift, I've got more than anybody else. Oh, Sorry, I had a fish. <laughs> uh, I've got more done than anybody else, or I'm good at the mail out part of it, you know, the stuffing the envelopes and the sending it out to the customers. So they get self esteem, they get money, which helps the attendance. They're earning credits towards graduation. It's just a huge, huge positive for the students at our school. Um, it, 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 it's really been a, a, game changer for us because we've always had a hard time keeping those jobs routine you know we might get a a, a mailing job where we have to mail out a thousand advertising brochures but then it goes away and then we don't have any work for them and then we're back to okay you got to clean bathrooms you got to mop floors stuff like this with core tackle and the consistency that, that's a job that they're doing every day. Hopefully we keep that consistency. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. And that, that's, so that's one thing that, uh, I don't want to say it's limited us, but that that's because it is a class. We have so much time a day to package and to ship, which, you know, all of the support we've gotten from the viewers and from anglers has been overwhelming. I, neither of us, I think, expected really to do as well as we have but it's you know when i went to well when mark when i when we we talk all the time so when i kind of mentioned to mark this idea and he's like well we could do some of the production and the shipping i was my one of my biggest fears was yet yeah, i'm all about that except i oops, watch it <laughs> was uh i don't know what type of production or demand we're going to have so i can't necessarily say hey we're going to have a whole pile of business for you guys to do which is okay too because like you said you've got other work study programs to do but it's really turned into be a very positive um experience not just for us because we feel good from a company standpoint that we're helping you know some kids who at risk kids yeah who, who didn't who right. maybe normally don't want to come to school and in this case, they're making, you know, some money to come to school and it's it's incentivizing them to come to school and get their education, which we all know is a valuable thing for them to have. And at the same time, they're doing us a great favor in terms of the, the work and the production that they've had. And it's been an extremely good relationship right now. And I mean, I as long as as long as you guys are willing to continue to work uh, with us, you know, we will assuming we continue to grow uh definitely have work for you because we i know when i talk with johnny about it like it is something that definitely makes us feel really good about core tackle 
you know, everyone's got different things that they like to do from a company standpoint to give back in some way. And even though you guys are 100% helping us, we feel like it's a really positive mutual relationship. It's a 100% mutually beneficial relationship. And you talked about how popular your baits have been and, and the demand. There you go, you got a little one there. The old, the old hover rig. Yep. This is one that's, that you guys packaged. One, one that our kids made, yeah, and put, or packaged. This, this little guy right here, putting kids through school. <laughs> <laughs> now I've got eight kids on a Saturday morning at eight o'clock. And you, I've sent you pictures. I've sent you, you know, FaceTime of them working on a Saturday. That's eight kids who have volunteered to come yeah. in to get paid overtime to work on core tackle. But those eight kids were not out on Friday night doing bad stuff. Yeah. They were home sleeping because they knew they had to come in and go to work on Saturday at eight o'clock. And, and trust me, when they got done working at noon, they didn't go out Saturday night either. You yeah. know, because, and, and so we look at that as, these are all things that kind of show them a positive, a different approach to living than what they're used to. They're used to staying up late on Fridays, doing bad things, you know, doing all that kind of stuff. I, the the heartwarming part about it is they're working on on core tackle, and it's you know you you were kind enough to send donuts or pizza or whatever for the guy for the kids that were working. They're sitting there working, and you know what's going on while they're these are high school at-risk kids, you know, inner city kind of kids, we turn on Disney music and they're sitting there singing, what's the one from Little Mermaid, you know, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't remember that, but there's, they're all, yeah. these rough kids are sitting there singing while they're putting stuff together and just having a good time laughing and joking while they're, while they're working and, and I mean, it's just, it's very, very positive. Yeah, it's, it's been a great relationship. Uh, I mean, really, they've helped tremendously in terms of getting us off the ground. Because I, I, I don't know how we would have done it, honestly. And, you know, at this point, we're growing to the, to the point where you've handled our shipping as well. But we want to keep up with shipping more than anything. And you guys, you know, have done a great job with that and, and as well as production. But we're starting to go more retail now. We're you know getting out in tackle warehouse. We're going to get out taps and tackle guys. You can you can buy them at taps and tackle right now. They're actually the the first retail. They're good friends of mine, so I had to I had to hook them up. Uh, so go to tapsandtackle.com. You can get some there. They before they you can get because we just sent that shipment out to them. <laughs> yeah, I know they and I talked to uh, Joseph. They got them uh, yesterday, so they're going to put them on the website. And I think we're going to do some special things there. We are at my favorite tackle shop in the world, Taps and Tackle. We got Joseph here. Matt's probably what sleeping. I don't know. I don't know where he's at. But, <laughs> so I just want to announce that they, Taps and Tackle, are the first ones to have the Core Tackle hover rig hooks. They've got a, uh, I don't know, a decent allotment, but Pretty we want to do something special because it's the first retail store. I wanted to make sure they were the first ones to have it. You can order online, tapsandtackleco.com. Yep. And we're going to do something a little special. We are going to give away one of the Matt Stefan signed jerseys, not necessarily that one, but to the first, and you're not taking my favorite. what, 25 orders? 25 you, orders, first 25 orders. Will be of. entered into a drawing for a signed game-worn jersey. I don't even know if I've washed it, guys, so it might smell <laughs> like bass. But that's what we're gonna do. I wanted to do something a little special for the, for uh, for this. Perfect. You're good with that? It's gonna be, it's gonna be great. So first 25 orders, we're gonna have uh, girl Beth pick out which winner is going to receive them. So it's gonna be a random drawing. So out of the first 25 orders, we're just gonna select one, one customer. Yep. So get your orders in as soon as possible. You get a shot at a signed jersey. You know, so uh, for the people that go to Taps and Tackle co.com i'll put the link in the video description you can potentially win a few things that way as well uh for the first handful of people i think that are buying stuff through them um but really what's happening is you know you guys 
the learning houses help transition us to retail and you'll be keeping up with the production standpoint and we'll be using retail i guess to do a bunch of our shipping but it's it's been a great a great thing so far you know i nobody really had any true expectations on this but uh it's it's one of those things where it's working for everybody This dock is the one dock that has... Like, that's a good That's a good one, Mark. Huh? That's a good one. Biggest of the day. You want me to grab them? Yeah, that's definitely. There's the rebounder that we've been looking for, yeah. That is the way to end the video, I think, because I got to get going. Biggest of the day. We've caught a pile of fish. I have no idea what I'll put in this video or not, but it was a good video. I had a lot of fun. It's uh, always nice. We we're talking. It's always nice not to be in tournament mode, just to go fishing and BS. And that's what we did. Anyways, guys. On that note, we're going to end it because I do got to get rolling. And uh, for the first time, we can crank up the motor and go fast. Yeah, yeah, we're it's it's after 10 o'clock. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. We'll have a new video for you tomorrow. Like and subscribe if you have not already. Go to Taps and Tackle. Buy some hover rigs from them.